Hello everyone. Okay, this morning um, I'm going to make a video for a subscriber by the name of Hook'em Horns 972. I bet you didn't think I was going to get back to you. Uh, you sent me this message, I believe, last weekend. I think it was a week ago. Um, you were wondering about certain constructions in Japanese, certain particles used, and you said they were uh, confusing you. Um, I'm not sure what book you're using, but oh, I didn't bring it here with me. I'm not sure what book you're using, but um, this book here I recommended in one of my videos before. This is a very good book. Okay, this is the Japanese. This is basically for like um, level three tests. They give you some samples and some grammar drills. And what you asked me about before is there. It's all in this book. So I would recommend getting this book in the other levels. I will. I will post a link. Uh, the videos I made before in this description box so you can check uh, check those out so here I'm going to show you a couple sentences I made okay sentences I made up with those constructions you asked about and I will explain them okay so you may learn some new stuff here today as well all right so let's look at the first sentence here we have a um <clears throat> this is like a, a statement and this is a response so the first one Nihonga so your Japanese is fluent. Like you, you speak fluently. You speak Japanese fluently. Peta peta, you know, peta peta means fluently. Okay? And the response is, So, the full translation is, well, I lived in Japan for a long time and at the company, I always spoke Japanese with the native speakers. Okay? So, Bokuwa Nagaida. So Nagaida ni here is a long time. Alright? Nagaida. So Nagaida ni. Ni oni kulashte. So kulashte from kurasu. Kurasu means to live, reside somewhere. So ni oni kulashte. Kaisha. Kaisha is company. So kaisha de at the company. Ni hongo. Boku. Bokoku go. is mother language or native speaker or mother language. Nihongo Bokogo to suru hito bito. So, excuse me. So, this whole construction here, when you say, when you say Nihongo Bokogo to suru hito bito, that means a person who speaks the Japanese native on a native level, and they're native, like native Japanese speakers. <laughs> and then, with, to, to, with those native speakers, Itsumo, Itsumo is always. Itsumo hanashitanda. Hanashitanda. So spoke from hanasu. So hanashita, plain past. Okay? So now, here's your nda. Now, what does it mean? What, what, is, what is the meaning here, nda? Now, when you have nda like this, it's like a reason. It's, they're basically giving you a reason. Like, like this guy said that my Japanese was fluent. And I told him, well, the reason for that is I lived in Japan for a long time. And at the company, I always I always spoke with native speakers of the language. So when you by you adding the n da or n des that here, da is the same as des, it's just informal. When you add that n da or n des at the end, it's basically giving a reason. It's like, well, it's it's just that I was living in Japan for a long time. That's the given the reason. That's the reason why my Japanese is fluent. So that's the meaning of ndes, nda, ndes. It's a reason and it's normally used like this. Okay? Now, let's look at the second um, example. Tokoro de, naze nihongo ni tori tsukarete iru n desu ka? Tokoro de, naze nihongo ni tori tsukarete iru n desu ka? 
So, um, by the way, why are you obsessed with Japanese? By the way, why are you obsessed with Japanese? So, tokoro de, that's by the way. <clears throat> Naze is why Nihongo ni tori tsukarete irun desu ka? So, uh, tori something ni, ni tori tsukare lu. From the plain form is tori tsukare lu. That means to have an obsession. You obsess with something. So, Nihongo ni in Japanese, except you um, uh, obsess with Japanese. Now, you, you see how you have n des here again. You have n des ka? Because again, they're looking for this reason. They want to, they, they're looking for a reason why it's like that. Cat is crying. They're looking for a reason. They're looking for a reason why, why you're obsessed. So, n des ka? So, what's the reason? Nihongo wa omoshiroku te itsu ka Nihon ni hikoshitai da. Nihon wa moshiroku te itsu ka nihon ni hikoshitai da. So, Japanese is interesting and one day I want to move to Japan. So, Nihon wa, as far as the Japanese, omoshiroku te, omoshiroi is interesting, kute is an, uh, omoshiroi ends with the e, so you, when you want to say when you want to use a word and, and make it um, turn into a conjunction, like it, like here is omoshiroi, you want to say interesting and, you take off the e and add kute. Omoshiro kute is interesting and itsuka one day. Itsuka is one day. Nihon ni in the direction of Japan, towards Japan. Hikosu from hikosu. Hikosu means to move. Okay, to move to a different house, to a different country. Hikoshitain da. So, hikoshitai, tai form one, hikoshitai, want to move, and then you have nda. Now, again, like before, you, nda is because, it's given a reason. So, it's like, well, the reason is that Japanese is interesting and one day I want to move to Japan. So, and it ends with nda or ndes. Okay? <clears throat> Next example. Where's my time? Okay. The next example. Kare wa naze koko ni kuro koto ni shitan desu ka? Kare wa naze koko ni kuro koto ni shitan desu ka? So, why did he decide to come here? Why did he decide to come here? So, kare wa, as far as him, as far as he, naze wa koko ni. Here, uh, to this, in this direction, kuru to come, koto ni shita, decide. So, koto ni suru, <clears throat> many of you know, um, koto ni suru itself, it means to decide. So, you have koto ni suru, like that, it means to decide. So, plain form, kuru is the plain form, plus koto ni suru, that gives you decided to come, okay? Koto ni suru, so, kuru koto ni shitain da, shitain desu ka? So, why did he decide? Why did he decide to come here? Reason? Kare wa ryugakusei nan desu. Kare wa ryugakusei nan desu. So, because he's a, he's an exchange student. He's like, a, he's studying overseas. He's a, he's an exchange student. Ryugakusei is exchange student. So, here you have nan desu. That was another one. So, nan desu is pretty much the same, okay? <laughs> it's the same as n des. It's all the same. Do, when do you use nan des? You use nan des for nouns. As you can see, ryu gakusei is a noun. Um, so you use nan des. If it's a not adjective, like kire, kire na, um, kire na is pretty. So if I, for example, if I say, eto, if I say, let's see, eto, naze nihongo ni kyoumi ga, kyoumi ga arimasu ka? Naze nihongo ni kyoumi ga arimasu ka? Why do you have interest in Japanese? You may say, Nihonji no ona ga kire nan desu. Nihonji no ona wa kire nan desu. Or something like that. You may say, well, it's because the Japanese girls are pretty or something like that. So, 
Kide na is a na adjective, so you use na and des. So na and des would be used for a noun, na adjectives. Okay? Na and des. Remember that. Um, next, next, next sentence, example. Kono kanji no yomi kato wo shiritai desu ga oshiete kurimasen ka? Kono kanji no yomi kato wo shiritai desu ga oshiete kurimasen ka? So I want to know how to read this kanji, but won't you teach me? Now you didn't ask me about this. This is something else I wanted to bring up. N des ga. It's n des ga. When you have n des ga like this, now it's like you're it's like a request. Like you're wanting to do something, but you wanna you don't know if it's okay. It's like, wow, I wanna like if I, I if I wanna practice Japanese, you say, Oh, I wanna practice Japanese with you. I'm thinking to myself that I want to practice Japanese with you, but I, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's, it will be at an inconvenience for you. You probably don't want to do it, so it's like I want to, I'm gonna ask you if it's okay. So that's that's when you use the ndes ga. So anata to nihongo lenchu shitain desu ga. So I want to practice Japanese with you, but isho ni lenchu shimasen ka. Shall we, won't we, or well, we won't practice together? Won't we practice together? Or something like that. So, that's the n desu ga. Okay, when you want to, when you want to request something, you do, you do it this way, n desu ga. Okay? So, I want to know how to read this kanji, but won't you teach me? So, kono kanji no yomikata. So, this kanji's yomikata. Yomikata is the way of reading. The way of reading. Yomikato wo shiritai n desu ga. Shiritai means to want to know. And here's that n desu ga because you want to, you want to, um, you're actually asking him. You're requesting this. And oshiete kuremasen ga. So oshiete kureru, that means someone teach for you. You're getting this from someone else. Oshiete te kureru. You put oshieru in te form and then you get kureru, which is someone give you something. So they're actually teaching for you. And my sen is in the negative, and ka is, of course, the question. So, oshiete kurimasen ka? Won't you teach me? Okay, the last one. Boku wa mou shugurai wo shite geimu wo shiyou to mon desu ga isho ni yarimasen ka? Boku wa mou shugurai wo shite geimu wo shiyou to mon desu ga isho ni yarimasen ka? So I've already done my homework and I'm thinking about playing the game, but shall we or won't we play together? So Bokoa, me as far as myself, Mo is already Mo. Shukudai. Shukudai is homework. So Shukudai o shite. So I did a homework and game wo game o shiyo tomon desu ga. So shiyo. Now this is a construction in itself. Yo to omo. That means you're thinking about doing something. That's a whole nother lesson that I have to go through with you guys. I'll do it another time. Yo to omo. So yo to omo this guy. So he's thinking about um, playing the game, but he's 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 actually wanting to play with you. So he's he's basically asking, shall you guys play together? So this guy isho ni yarimasen ka. So isho ni is together. And then yari yari masen yari mas yari masu from yaru means to play or do yari masen ka won't we play? So that's the function of n des ga. Okay, I felt that I need to explain that to you because you're already working on n des and you may run you know you may come across this n des ga. So why not? Now this no da here um, before I forget that is used in written form when you're writing Japanese. And it's in written form or very formal uh, situations. Okay? So, normally in spoken, in a daily speech, they will use the n des over no da. But it's the same meaning. So, if you're writing Japanese, they normally use no da. So, you can actually take out, wherever we use n des, you can put no da because it's written form. So, remember, the no da... It's the same meaning as in des, in and non des, 
It's just that it's used in the written language or very formal situations. All right. So I hope I, I hope this video has helped you and others who are learning Japanese. Um, it's not so I, I don't consider this like advanced or anything. It's like I would say like the more intermediate, like around that around that area. So if you're like intermediate, um, low intermediate around there, then this this should, this stuff should help you. Okay. So um, let me know if you have any other questions and um, yeah. I'll be glad to make a video and try to explain the best I can for you. So, again, um, those of you who are native speakers of the language or just really good at Japanese, if you guys see any mistakes or just something strange I miss, because I know sometimes I go through it so fast and I make some small errors. But if you guys see them, uh, just let me know so the others can see that and learn from them. So thanks for viewing the video, and uh, like I said, let me know if you guys have any other questions, and um, I'll be glad to make a video response. Thanks for viewing.